bro. Doesn't that look like we should be making a lot of noise? So not. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a dinner, a special dinner down in Miami. I'm not sure what it's celebrating, but we're gonna fucking- Our Is it? Yep. Whatever. I'm celebrating. We're just <laughs> celebrating <laughs> us. Yeah. We're throwing a shindig for people to be able to come and sample the minds that are here sitting at this area right now. They're already award winning. I've been nominated for a BET award. I've been nominated for all kinds of awards. I've won awards. I just feel like we go hand in hand. My name is Nando Chang, brother to Val here. I'm Valerie Chang. And I'm his sister. <laughs> and we co-chef at Matis and Itamai in Miami. You guys are so amazing, so sweet. Sometimes. This is not brothers and <laughs> sisters. One of you guys is too sweet, or one of you too savory. Is there any distinction, or are you interchangeable in the kitchen? He's my boss. <laughs> yeah. So our story is connected to our father. Our father is also a chef. He came up learning Japanese food in Miami. As Val and I grew up, we wanted to do like distinct food. So we brought like the Peruvian aspect. She likes to say, you know, uh, I'm her boss, but it's usually the other way around as always. We know that. You I know, can see it, right? Already. As soon as they say it. Uh -huh. It's only uh, one person who walks into that restaurant, I'm like, Whoa, the big boss is here. <laughs> uh, we definitely respect Everyone each other. butt puckers up, oh. right? I swear to God. <laughs> I'm gonna use that olive oil you were using. That yeah, okay. yeah. Can you please? please? Now, please. Can you please, for the Lord's sake? Where is it? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Where's that oil from, then? That is a monocultivar Blanca olive oil from Chile, that was harvested from Chile. Oh, How no, interesting I don't, is I don't that? know if we can use, no Peruvian. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the closest regional cultivar to your home. Absolutely. I've heard about these. They're good. It's a strong grind, which I love. Thank you to Hexclad, official cookware sponsor of the in-studio show. If you want to make that kitchen legit and support our show, go to hexclad.com slash in-studio. That is hexclad.com forward slash in-studio for 10% off your next purchase. I had a chef who I had hired his staff. Once he wasn't working for us anymore, he looked and he's like, just one question. Did he steal my pepper grinder? <laughs> like, for sure. <laughs> Look at that. That's gorgeous. Should I let it? No, please. No. This Marry is the way we eat. Bit. No, it's this right is the way we eat in Peru, right away. Mmm. This is phenomenal. That's pretty much the opening dish at, the, at both of the restaurants. Mm. That's how your meal starts. That's a banger. Open with a bang. It's like if you open the door, you're expecting to walk into someone's home. You open the door and they just throw fucking cold water <laughs> in your face. <laughs> So they call it leche tigre. Yeah, I love it. It's, it's, it's like a tiger's milk, and like when you're super hungover the next day, you crawl into cevicheria, yeah. and you're like, please help me come back to life. Man. And you take a shot, and it's like you're a tiger again. I'm a lion. Good thing there's not lion's milk. Lions wouldn't have milk, would they? Lionesses would. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, get in here. I'm gonna fucking eat this whole plate. Nick Coleman, Chito Vera. We're going to go with Come on, bro. This is ridiculous. Love that corn. Oh, wow. The toasted corn and the fatter one, it really gives it that, like, body. Choclo. Choclo? I mean, I love choclo. Choclo. I eat choclo in the morning with quesito. Yeah, mm. that's right. Nikkei Cuisine. Can you explain to me this style of cooking and what it is? Lima, Peru has the second largest population of Japanese people outside of Japan. So these Japanese immigrants wanted to start eating stuff that they would have at home. So the only way they could do it is by trying to replicate Okay, what they were eating back in Japan with Peruvian ingredients. That's like the origin of what we know as Nikkei cuisine. Mm. Is caviar native to Peru? They actually eat just the fish roll. They salt Clean. it. Clean. They air it and then they fry it. They call huevera frito in like sandwiches. What? This would be more like an Amazonian ceviche because this has a, a fried banana leche de tigre. Wait a second. <laughs> this has a charapita salt, which is this right here. Charapita is the most expensive pepper in the world by size. And it's got the most unique flavor. Yeah, it's very, very bright. Classic Itamai dish, which is a fried banana Leche. We use bananas, not just in Peru, but because bananas are native to Miami. So it's an ingredient that we have available Whoa. to us all year round. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. That's <laughs> Ron to say that shit to Yes, sir. That's unheard of. I've never had anything. Me either. That's why it's blowing my mind. That's fucking crazy. The bananas in there, you can taste it. It tastes like the most unbelievable, like, 
fruit punch or something. Sour patch fruit punch. You know the tropical bag where it's usually like the Latin flavors? Are you talking about Skittles? Yeah. Like the blue bag. You know, she understood my excitement because I can't even talk. It really washes your face in some crazy flavor. That's one of the craziest things I've ever tasted. Fun, fun, fun till daddy takes the T-bird away. Suddenly, <laughs> you know? the Beach Boys rear their head <laughs> once again. The yeah. technique is unbelievable. This is a it's fermented uh, yuzu and hilimo peppers. This is beautiful. This is like a hot sauce legend. Damn, that smells like something from back in the day. Oh, I can't explain it. it. Just gave me a memory of something. And this is a Andean herb called wakatai that we make like a little oil out of. Try not to swallow the squid so fast, but just keep chewing and chewing and enjoying like the texture, please. Oh my God. This food is so... It's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. Well, that one was the cover of the food and wine. This one? For the subscribers, yeah. 2022? 2023. Yeah, that was the cover that went out to all the subscribers. It's like a rigatoni regate with the striations. It's really squid regate. That's mean, man. That one is crazy. It's like Frank's hot sauce in the best way possible from Peru. No, yeah, yeah. Definitely the ferment is there. So these are tortitas de choclo. This is very traditional to the north of Peru. They're served usually with three different hot sauces, which are here. An ají amarillo butternut squash, a rocoto carretillero, and a burnt serrano. What's in the rocoto? You got scallion, a little bit of vinegar, you got lemon. Mm. Oh. Zam. It's great. Good spice. We're like always on edge. Level. Yeah. Certain food just has to have a certain amount of heat, you know? What do we have there? Flounder? Mm-hmm. It swims like that. Oh, really like that? It's flat on the other side. Both of its eyes are on the top. I'm not gonna lie, this is some of the best food I've ever fucking had in my life, man. I just thought about it on the way to the bathroom. <laughs> This is a Phoenix Mountain oolong tea. It's called Whoa. duck shit oolong. Hit me. Yes, sir, chef. These cups are from the Qing Dynasty. They're over 100 years old. I feel so fortunate, right? Today's word is grateful. You can taste the top of the mountain. Oolong tea is very like terroir driven. So it's like lightly oxidized, very lightly charcoal roasted. You get a lot of like tropical notes on the back end of it. Notes of like lychee, toasted coconut, toasted almond. So I think it pairs really nicely with this kind of food. The name of the tea is ya shi xiang, which means duck shit essence. <laughs> Chef, what are you going to do with that food? We're going to roast it and serve it with the uh, Jamarillo Bar Blanc. Now, when we do it for the for the dinner, I think we'll, this will be a grill in it. So it'll be like a whole roasted uh, flounder. So what the fuck do you want me to do in this dinner? You guys already <laughs> make fire and shit. What the fuck did I do? Just stand there and look cute? Uh, this is really for my personal pleasure, Chef. I, <laughs> I always wanted to cook for you, so <laughs> I took nice. the opportunity to make sure that we could, you know, as much as doing we could. It. This is ridiculously unbelievably good. The most unbelievable thing I've tasted in a long time. Thank you. Thank you. That food got me high in the days, you know, like uh, real whimsical days. <laughs> Made a corn huancaina. We got roasted corn. That's fucking dangerous, is what that is. Mmm, man. This oxtail, chef. No. You're about to have. Oh my god. You know how much you love oxtail. You know me well. That's fucking intensely so delicious. My gosh. My god. My gosh. Oh my. Whoa, what's going on with the dough? So this is a picarones. It's a sweet potato butternut squash donut. Oh my god. Wow. I know Miami is pretty excited for this. I can't fucking wait. This is too good. Mm. 